Assalamu alaikum guys. Uh, today I will show you a new thing that is uh, not uploaded yet in my YouTube channel, like uh, to install Freenas on VirtualBox. Let's see. Let's open VirtualBox. You can download it from uh, Google, like VirtualBox downloads, and then you can go on this website, virtualbox.org, then you can download it from here. So I, I have installed this application here. Usually it takes uh, as usual time. So let's create a virtual machine. So FreeNAS. I have given the name FreeNAS and where it will be located. I will select the place where I want to store virtual box. Here you can see NAS server. I have selected this folder. Then select the type of file, other, other unknown. Next. Then if you have just a uh, high-end PC or laptop, then you can select uh, RAM or it can be 6 GB or up to whatever you want. If it is 16 GB, then you can select for 8 GB. It's recommended. But here is recommended 64 MB. Anyways, I have selected more than 5 MB, 5 GB. Then click on next, create virtual hard disk. Click on create, then click on next without any change. Click on next, then create. Then here is your hard disk size. Go on 32 GB or whatever you want. It's up to you. Not a big deal. Then click on create. It has been created. So you have to just hang up or hang on the ISO file here, if you click on a start, then it will be started, but you didn't mount your ISO. So click on it and then click add. Then where your software is or ISO is, that will be redirected and you should select your ISO file by going your desired position. Like you can download it from Google. First of all, you have to open your browser. It can be any browser and type TrueNAS. Then from this website, you can download it. So the updated version of TrueNAS it has been changed. The name has been changed in TrueNAS, and then the version is 12.2, maybe. So you can download it from here, though it is not recommended for the users who wants to apply themselves in different areas. Like, first of all, if anybody wants to apply it on uh, official basis, then it shouldn't be used because it's for testing purpose. Anyways, you can download it from there. And then just simply where you have stored, click on it and then click on open. Then double click on it and go to start. Your installation process will be started and it will be continued up to, until the job is finished. It may take a few moments. It will depend on your PC or on your server, how many time it will take, let's see. Just simply enter. Then select yes and then enter. Then press the space bar and then press enter, press enter. And then you may put your password or you can go without password, but password is recommended to use here. I have put it password. 
then click enter. It will be default, boot via BIOS. Then it will be mounted. Wait until the job is finished. It will take a few more minutes to job the done the job and we'll be waiting here until the job is finished. Installation has been completed on to 25%. We may pause the video until the job is done. We are coming here. The installation process has been completed. You can see the TrueNest installation on ADD. AD is zero succeeded. Just simply press enter. Then you can see it has been installed and you need to reboot the system. Click on enter. But after doing that, you may need to discard your ISO from storage. By clicking on setting, you need to go on storage. Just simply click on trueness, then click here, and then click remove disk from the virtual drive, then click on OK. Let's see. So you need to restart it again, power up the machine. And click on start again. Without wasting that much time, it will go on that process where we were. You may center. All those plugins are being installed here. So you need to wait more, few more times, few more minutes here. Remember again that FreeNAS has been changed and the name is TrueNAS now. And the version of the latest version is 12.2.
that is for testing purpose. All are okay. Okay, finally it has been installed successfully. And you can see the IP where I will put my uh, this IP address here that is on 0 0.0.2.15. But it's not my IP address of my router. Here you can see. My IP address is on 92 on 68 on 07. So if we want to get the IP by what we can access our tunas, then we have to stop it again. Okay. Then we may need to go on settings, then go on network. Here you can see attached to net. Just simply change the bridge adapter and then click on OK and then click start again. So it will take a few more uh, minutes, but you'll see what the change made. All the systems are being mounting. Now you can see the things made here. The sequence of my computer IP and this one is the similar. If we type this address on a browser, then you'll see we can access on Then click on enter. Simply you can see Tonas core has been installed successfully and it is running now. Then I need to give my username and need to put password there. Now you can see we have entered in our Tonas. Here is just simple introduction about Tonas. So here you can see my system information, CPU information, memory, interface, and sorts of 
switches are going there, you can see from here, and you can just do whatever you want from here. So thank you so much for watching these videos. I hope you have enjoyed a lot. And if you have any query or any kind of problems to install trueness or freeness on your PC via virtual box, then you can comment below the video. I will try to make sure that this video has successfully gave you something that is really important for you. But if you need any change, then you can let me know. Thank you so much again for watching this video. And we will make another video about Tunes, about to create pool, about the installation of stories, and so many things we will show you. Be with us by subscribing. Thank you.